so continue move on the magnetism now this video we discuss about the coefficient and the healing errors so before watching this video please go and watch the magnetism part 1 video so that you understand the concept of uh, magnetic before understanding that video you will not going to understand this you will understand but it's very difficult so just watch that video and then you have to watch this second video so as we discussed already that video uh, we have the ship's compass and we have the blue magnet on the top and the red on the bottom so here we discuss all the forces force p q r which is permanent it's permanent shift magnetism which acquired during the vessel building and with the heading so positive for the force p positive side is forward and negative side is is aft and in the force q positive side is starboard side and negative side is port side whereas in force r the downward is positive and upward is negative you can see this in the now deviation which caused by the coefficient a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus healing error in healing error they are also have permanent and induced healing error okay so this is our uh, magnetic compass located on the monkey island as we know this compass rose the steamer switch athwart ship character magnets very important we are going to use in the coefficients so because of that i will show you because otherwise i will say athwart ship correct magnet you will not able to understand where it is located so this is athwart ship correct magnet this fore and aft correct magnets this healing error okay we'll discuss when the when discuss healing error the whole roll vertical magnet bucket cylinder bars which is located in the forward direction if you see and the soft iron is there okay so we are all going to this use in the coefficient when we are correcting that if you see this this is soft iron is there this mag cylinder bars and this is your magnetic compass same here spare healing magnet tube excess athwart ship magnet tray four and half magnet tray cylinder bars okay we are going to use all this for correction so before that you understand where is all the located cylinder bars located in the forward and aft direction generally but we see when we are doing ib and ic and uh, compass soft iron spare generally in athwart ship direction but it will change little bit why we'll discuss in the coefficient when we are discussing the d and e coefficients okay so let's move okay generally the for the second mat, uh, for phase 2 the all this magnetics depend on the they are discussing about the deviation so first we discuss what is the error of magnetic compass so we have the variation we already know so we will not discuss about too much in the variation because already we know deviation which is our most of the topic is covered on the deviation is basically the phase 2 is on the deviation you can say also then transient error gaussian error retentive error this gaussian error and retentive errors they ask maybe one or two but before five i think five years before they ask this was in error related error so use before going to exam just read it this very simple and my notes is also available in pdf so if anybody want pdf notes and they can contact on the link and they can contact me then healing error acceleration deceleration error oscillation errors and magnet dip errors okay so our deviation due to permanent magnetism and induced magnetism so permanent magnetism is force forward and aft component force p athwart ship component force q and vertical components force r okay whereas induced magnetism we have the horizontal forward and aft horizontal athwart ship and vertical soft iron si is soft iron 
then we have the foreigner component athletic component and vertical components three type of division caused by coefficient constant some division some coefficient cost <coughs> constant division of the same sign and the value on all headings so generally coefficient a is the only coefficient that is constant division of same sign and value on all headings so all heading is very important huh? semi circular division of same sign over one continuous half of the compass course and half of the opposite sign for the other continuous half of the compass course so coefficient b and coefficient c is belong to semi circular and quadrantal division of one sign over continuous opposite quarters of the ship's head and the opposite sign over the other two continuous opposite quarter of the ship's heading so coefficient d and coefficient e is coming in the quadrantal so this diagram is very important i will explain you when you watch this full video you understand it's very simple by watching by if you remember this all this circle where is east west you will finish this magnetism okay so five coefficient cause the division of the ship is a b c d e plus heading that we discuss later so first we have to focus is a b c d e so total division on any course is equal to a plus b sin course plus c cos course plus d sin 2 cos course and e cos 2 course so this formula you have to remember and you have to write in the exam now we are moving and we are discussing coefficient a the coefficient a is constant in name okay if it is sterly it will remain sterly in all the headings okay and constant magnitude on all the headings so if they ask coefficient a generally they didn't ask the directly coefficient a but they sometimes they ask directly the coefficient a but sometimes they ask in other words in other way so coefficient a is the division which remain constant in name as well as magnitude on all the headings and can be further divided into real a and apparent a okay so we'll discuss later that uh, how they ask because we, when we solve the past papers so you understand how they will ask coefficient a okay so coefficient is further divided into two parts real a and apparent a the real a is constant division on all, all heading caused by induced magnetism in unsymmetrical pair of horizontal soft iron so unsymmetrical pair of horizontal soft iron is very important you have to mention this and mark underline horizontal unsymmetrical pair of horizontal soft iron okay so first we discuss real a and then we move to apparent a so real a again divided a plus a minus a okay so plus a is produce a constant sterly deviation on all the headings produced by minus b and d rods in the previous video we discuss all the nine rods how to remember that rods already discussed so you so you can watch that video for nine rods so plus a is produce constant sterly division on all headings and produced by minus b and plus d rods whereas minus a produce a constant westerly division on all headings produced by plus b and minus d rods so if in the question say the vessel is producing constant sterly deviation on all headings so that means they are asking about the plus a and if the same the constant westerly deviation on all headings so that means you have to explain minus a okay so we discuss plus a okay so this is our all the cardinal and intercardinal directions north northeast east southeast south southwest west and north west headings so we are discussing okay so 
we make magnetic compass okay the magnetic compass is looks like this but because of very small we draw we try to draw but you just know that magnetic needle also have the red and the blue okay so plus a cos sterly deviation on all headings so by this you remember sterly heading on all deviation we make all the vessel in the all headings on the top blue pole earth magnetism and this red is down so line of force is going from red to blue okay red to blue this much is clear okay now plus a is caused by minus d and minus b and d rods so let's keep these rods as heading change this direction of rods compass change okay so this horizontal side in the port and the fore and aft is on vertical so when the line of force entered from the red to going to blue so it will acquire also so let's see entering from the entering from the red and leaving okay the line of force is i show you line of force is going like this this direction leaving from the red going to blue earth magnetism now we have the compass also like okay like this now when entered it will acquire the blue pole okay okay blue pole acquired entering blue and leaving red okay in the north easterly in the east northerly direction same in the north easterly heading entering blue so it will acquire blue yes and leaving red same in the easterly heading it will not acquire on this but acquire only this this already discussed in the part 1 video in the south easterly heading it will acquire on the both entering blue leaving red south easterly here it will not acquire but acquire here only entering blue leaving red here it will acquire blue and do leaving red leaving red is westerly heading acquire blue leaving red northwesterly blue now you understand this okay now sterly deviation now let's see now you see this compass is looks like this okay now compass will attract see the closest one is blue here it is not acquired any pole so blue so red will attract the different will attract and the same is repel so it will attract so it will cause sterly head here also cause sterly here it will attract sterly same sterly here it will not acquire so it will like this so here red and on top of the needle is red so it will repel so it will cause sterly here also repel here also repel okay now how to make the deviation card 
if like this east and this is your west north northeast east southeast south southwest west northwest and north so all the sterly headings so you can make one line that means division is only sterly headings so you remember you understand this okay moving to the minus a minus a is caused by plus b and minus g rods it will produce a constant westerly deviation on all headings so remember this constant westerly deviation on all headings okay so we'll mark my plus b and minus d rods we mark all the headings north northeast east south east south southwest west and northwest all cardinal and intercardinal headings we mark the red on the downside and the blue on the top side this calls this represent the earth magnetism the line of force inter blue leaving from the red so that means from it's going from red to blue okay this direction like this going from red to blue this is earth magnetism now when we entered on the ship's magnetic so how it will see so here because of plus b and minus d the forward side and port side is four and a half line and it is in the earthward ships so we'll make this on the all the headings Okay, now on northerly heading, it will card blue, entering blue, leaving red. Here it will not acquire in the earthward ship. Okay, in the northeasterly, entering blue, leaving red. Easterly heading acquire blue. Leaving red, it will not acquire here because it is perpendicular to the horizontal. In the southeasterly heading, acquire blue, entering blue, and leaving red. Okay, now first we mark all the. Okay, now the compass is looks like this. Okay, here red is closest one is there, so red red it will repel, 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 repel. Attract. So cost westerly headings. Westerly. Okay. So how makes how will make the division graph? east west north northeast east southeast south
साउथ साउथ वेस्ट वेस्ट नॉर्थ वेस्ट एंड नॉर्थ सो इट विल कॉन्स्टेंट इन वेस्टर्ली इन ऑल हेडिंग Correction of A. Correction of A. Correction of real A is generally not attempted. It is very rare that coefficient A exit. Even when present, it is likely to very small. Since the deviation is constant on all heading, it can be applied as a index error. So, if the if the question asks how the correction of A is corrected, so it will corrected as a index error. Why? It is very rare that coefficient A exit. Okay. Now, how the effect effect of coefficient A on directive forces? Some of the field caused by B and D rod is constant on all headings. Field always directed towards the east and west. So no north south components. So D F will not affected. So now effect of change of latitudes. So you can see this is H and this is F. F is for disturbing field or deviating force. H is for horizontal components. Okay, and this is same. So there is no changes because of latitude for the coefficient A. How? Where H is horizontal field, F is disturbing field or deviating force. Deviation is caused by F. It is F is disturbing field or deviating force. Since deviating force is F is depend on H means horizontal components. F increase or decrease proportional to with H. So F is directly proportional to the H. Since proportional of H and F will always be same, deviation due to coefficient A is not affected by change of latitudes. Same in the case with all other deviation. Cause due to induced magnetism in horizontal soft wiring. Therefore, coefficient D and E. Now, other is non-magnetic coefficient A that is called apparent A. Now, the real A finished. Now we discussed about the apparent A. The apparent A is the value of the constant error which remains same in name and in amount for all the direction of the ship head in caused by the factors other than the magnetic field of the ship at the compass position how what is the cause of current a the magnetic axis of the needle is not being parallel to the 0 0 degree 180 direction of the card so if it is your magnetic needle is not aligned with the 0 0 180 degree that means for an, the four and half line that is cause apparent a the rubber line of the compass not being parallel to the shift fore and aft line, this will produce a constant error on all cores stared, but not on the bearing observed. A constant error in observing the bearing of the object using which the compass was adjusted, example an index error in the azimuth mirror measuring devices. An error in computing the magnetic bearing of the object using which the compass was adjusted example application of the wrong variation of the true bearing the too rapid swing when observing the bearing of the object by which the compass is adjusted our angle work out incorrectly leading to error in the calculator by bearing of the shell so this is all the cause by apparent a presence of coefficient a if a appreciable coefficient a is found at a compass the course should be investigated by checking the following azimuth mirror variation use rubber line alignment of the card graduation with magnet axis of the compass needle and our angle if apparent a is not present by above check it implies that the real a is present so if your instrument is perfectly there is a no apparent a so that means if your vessel is constant in all heading and cause deviation that means your real a is present so if both are present together it is not possible to obtain their separate values coefficient if coefficient a exit the value may be obtained as a mean of the deviation on at least four equivalent heading 
normally this is done using division on 8 cardinal and intercardinal compass heading so 4 cardinal plus 4 intercardinal so total 8 cardinal settings now we are going to discuss coefficient b which is very important now we are going to discuss coefficient b coefficient b is the maximum value of semicircular deviation which varies as a sign of compass course if you remember the formula deviation is equal to a plus b sine co the sine compass course so that is my deviation which varies as the sine of compass course deviation is equal to a plus b sine compass course plus c compass c cos compass course plus d sine 2 compass course plus e sine 2 compass course so it is caused by horizontal four and half components of the ship magnetic field so b is caused by horizontal four and aft that means force p v involved and we have the permanent and magnet induced magnetism also so it is caused by permanent magnetism of the ship and induced magnetism deviation caused by permanent magnetism is called b or pb which is caused by force p deviation caused by induced magnetism is called induced b or ib due to c rods the c rod will affect because of the funnel the merchant vessel the funnel is behind that uh, compass cards so the funnel is caused by the ib now coefficient b is further divided into two parts permanent b and the induced b so let's see what is different between them permanent b why permanent b pb due to force p plus b due to shift field acting towards the bow that means blue pole towards the bow minus b due to the shift field acting towards the stern that means red pole is towards the stern so if you see this diagram plus pb is for the forward side and minus pb is negative side so plus pb is caused semicircular deviation which is north to south easterly head easterly deviation and 180 to 360 or 000 is westerly deviation so easterly deviation on easterly course and westerly deviation on easterly course where is minus b or minus pb is from 00 to 180 westerly deviation on all easterly course and easterly deviation on westerly course so it's opposite now let's discuss induced b induced b that is ib due to c rods b due to ships field acting towards the stern ib which is ib minus ib is from 00 to 180 cause westerly deviation and from 180 to 000, 000 is cause easterly deviation so westerly deviation on easterly course and easterly deviation on westerly course whereas plus ib easterly deviation on easterly course and westerly deviation on westerly course so you just remember this uh, circle diagram semicircular diagram now permanent b due to hard iron hard iron if you see if you see your vessel is in north you see this diagram the earth is downside is red and upside is blue remember this always when you are making anything first you have to make earth magnetism so red is down blue is on top now on the vessel it will where the line of force enter it will acquire the blue pole and where it sleeve it will acquire the red pole so when your vessel in the north heading that means your it will enter and it will acquire the first blue which is here acquire blue and it leaving the red so your blue is on stern and the red is on bow well if your vessel is south south southerly heading it will acquire blue on the south a uh, blue on the bow and the red on the stern okay so if you see minus pb in minus pb the blue is acting stern and in plus pb the blue will acting towards the bow so that means if your vessel in south uh, southerly heading when it was constructed that is pb 
and it when it was in northerly heading it was plus minus pb so if you see this diagram plus vb the force blue acting towards the bow field at the compass act towards the bow and is minus pb the field of compass card acts towards the stern okay now change in deviation due to change of course is very important okay so we'll going to first discuss pb okay pb we already make the all the cardinal and intercardinal vessel headings when we are making anything coefficient we mark the blue on the top and the red on the bottom which is represent the earth magnetism then we make all the headings on the compass chart north to north easterly easterly south easterly south south westerly westerly and the north westerly the pb is called semi circular deviation which is from 00 to 180 easterly deviation and from 180 to 00 is westerly deviation okay so we are going to discuss pb the on the pb that means it is blue pole acquired to the bow okay so blue pole acquired bow we make blue pole acquired to the bow all headings and the red pole stern let's understand now the line of force leaving from earth leaving from the red and entering to the blue like, like this way it's going okay now when we entered if you see here on the northerly heading it's blue here and red down so there is no deviation because it is in the parallel line so no deviation first we discuss deviation when then we going to discuss deviating df okay so no deviation here because of the red here and the red is bow so it will repel it will repel so it will be sterly deviation same sterly deviation because of repel sterly deviation and there is no deviation because in the line of the line of force so sterly deviation okay here it will again repel so westerly deviation repel westerly deviation westerly deviation because of repel so if you see this is on the northerly course it will easterly deviation and it so westerly course it will westerly deviation because of pb now we see the directive force c the earth magnetism is red here and blue is on top and if you see because of northerly heading blue is line with the blue it is line the same earth earth magnetism so there is maximum df increase because it is in line same like earth magnetism no so df increased maximum here the slightly not in line but slightly in line so df increase still df increase here perpendicular so since deflecting field at right angle so no effect on df okay so if you want one more thing i will explain you this is earth magnetism line of force going like this if your compass acquire the same 
then there is maximum day df and if it acquired like this then df reduce maximum because it is opposite to the line of force okay and if it is like this that means no acquire okay so this is important for the now steady deviation and df reduce because it is not in line here df reduce maximum because it's opposite to the earth uh, magnetic field df reduce maximum here df reduce no df df is directive force okay here increased so if you see in the pb in the north westerly north easterly and northerly heading northerly heading is maximum so sometimes the question ask uh, in which uh, in which coefficient it is a maximum directive force on northerly heading and no directive force on the east west or they can say df reduce in the south so that means it is y coefficient plus pb so if you see in the northerly heading no, northwesterly no, northerly and northwesterly it will increase and its maximum on the northerly heading and where is easterly westerly it will nil and on the southerly it is maximum reduce and south easterly and south westerly it is decreased so how this how is this so how this deviation curve will represent so steady deviation start from north to the 0 0 0 means south 180 and from here it will westerly deviation okay so it will become like this now minus pb minus pb the blue pole acting towards the stern so for making this we make the vessel on the cardinal and intercardinal headings on minus pb is westerly deviation on easterly course and easterly deviation on westerly course which you can remember by these diagrams okay so 0 0 0 to 180 it is west causing westerly deviation and from 180 to 0 0 it is called easterly deviation okay so minus pb is due to blue is acting towards the stern so we'll make stern blue in all the cardinal and intercardinal headings and the red on the bow okay now the compass which is looks like like this okay and this is earth magnetism so there is no df df reduce maximum here westerly deviation because it attract westerly deviation because of attract same different uh, pole it will attract here no attract here it will attract the blue pole attract blue attract blue so if you see here it is in line with the line of force so no deviation on the northerly heading and in southerly heading okay here is maximum deviation on westerly you see on here maximum easterly deviation okay now df deviation westerly deviation westerly deviation easterly deviation easterly 
now we discuss the directive force directive force in leaving from the red entering from the earth it is on the earth magnetism so when we hit enter if you see this is not in line it is opposite so df reduce maximum where in southerly it is line with the earth magnetism so df increase maximum on the if you see south easterly and south westerly it is not exactly in line with the earth magnetism but in nearby in line so it will df increased both side on the east where no df df nil on the east uh, north westerly and north easterly it is df reduce because it is opposite okay now how it will looks like this the deviation graph so it will 0 0 to 180 westerly deviation and from 180 to 0 0 is easterly deviation so deviation got like this now effect of course on deviation due to pv deviation is nil now this all this you don't remember by looking the minus pv or plus pv you can explain this one okay so effect of force on deviation due to pv deviation nil on 00 and 180 maximum on course of 090 and maximum opposite name of 270 okay so you, if you see there is no deviation on the north south heading and maximum on the east west heading okay and pv de deviation due to pv varies as a sign of compass course so sin 0 is equal to 0 sin 90 is equal to 1 sin 180 is equal to 0 so that means no deviation on north and south heading maximum on the easterly because of 1 and is opposite on the 270 because sin 270 is equal to minus so if it sign if you are still on the easterly heading it is easterly that means on westerly heading it will westerly and if it is a uh, opposite okay effect on df directive force plus b df increase on northerly heading and maximum increase on northerly heading df re reduce on southerly heading and maximum reduce on southerly heading df is maximum where revision is nil that is north south changes no change of df occurs on heading revision is maximum east west heading equal and opposite change in df occurs in opposite compass heading so that means df remain unchanged effect of change of latitude on deviation due to pv okay so deviation it is higher latitude if you see higher latitude h is nil and it is maximum at equator so h is small on the higher latitude so constant force pb h is small on the higher latitude and h is maximum on the lower latitude because it's maximum at the equators okay so deviation is one which is this one deviation one is greater than deviation two that means on higher latitude the deviation is maximum than the on the equator those lower latitudes so deviation is inversely proportional to horizontal components let's explain how to we know that the deviation due to pv is maximum on heading east or west because deviating field that act at right angle to the df of the earth edge let's consider the ship at two place one is higher latitude and one is lower latitudes the force p causing deviation remain constant okay force p is constant but as latitude will change h will also change when h is large h is large h is very large on the lower latitude and the maximum at the equator so on the h when h is large lower latitude the deviation is small when h is small and higher latitude the deviation is large so therefore deviation due to pv is inversely proportional to 1 upon h Deviation due to PV is PV into sine compass course where B is the value of coefficient B and easterly division on southerly course.
नाउ करेक्शन ऑफ कोफिशियंट करेक्शन ऑफ कोफिशियंट हाउ टू करेक्ट दिस एरर डेविशन एरर सो इफ यू सी दिस पी बी द ब्लू पोल एक्टिंग बाउ एंड द रेड पोल इज एक्टिंग टू वर्ड द स्टन सो करेक्टिंग दिस द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स एंट्रिंग टू ब्लू एंड लिविंग रेड सो इफ यू सी दिस लिविंग रेड एंड एंट्रिंग द ब्लू दिस शिप्स फील्ड विच इज प्रेजेंट बिकॉज ऑफ कोफिशियंट पी बी नाउ वी हैव द कंपास सो वी हैव टू equal and opposite if you see this we put the in the compass pinnacle the opposite here blue so we make here red and red here red so we make blue so that it will compensate equal and opposite same minus pb the blue pole acting as stern red pole acting towards bow we have to keep this magnet the correcting field in the compass below which is equal and opposite okay the coefficient are always corrected on heading on which they produce maximum deviation east and west okay so where we correct the coefficient on which heading which is where this maximum deviation on the pb and minus pb where is they will cause maximum deviation on easterly and westerly headings so coefficient are always corrected on the headings on which they produce maximum deviation so in case of pb and minus pb is easterly and westerly headings for the coefficient to cause maximum deviation it should act perpendicular to the needle the basic principle followed is correcting a compass is to cure like with like so because of this we have to put opposite poles that a permanent deviation is caused with the permanent magnet and induced deviation with induced magnetism pb which is caused by shifts fore and aft horizontal permanent magnetic field is corrected using fore and aft permanent magnets placed horizontally they are so placed as to produce a permanent magnetic field at the compass exactly equal and opposite to that of the ship so this is a ship's field the blue pole is acting stern red pole is bow it's going to in this direction leaving from the red entering from the blue so we have to compensate that uh, ship's magnetic field we have to put them below the magnetic compass okay which is produce the equal and opposite corrective field okay for permanent correction place in forward and aft direction as we discuss in the image produce a permanent magnetic field exactly equal and opposite to that of the ship this will not nullify the eliminate the pb force pb red in pole forward and blue pole aft whereas minus pv red in pole aft and blue in pole forward bar magnets the bar magnets length that means this length this bar magnet length the the bar magnet length it and the bar magnet length diameter this diameter 3 by 3 by 8 or 3 by 16 slots are provided in the binnacle below the compass and the magnets are placed two in row side by side at different levels so it not be nearer than a toy's length from the needle system so that they produce a uniform magnetic field around the compass okay so and now we will move to induced b induced b is caused by horizontal forward and aft magnetic field and compass due to induced magnetism in the vertical soft iron forward and aft of the compass this b because of the funnel so if you see this is c rods we already discussed in the previous video in the my first part of magnetism the nine rods okay and this so if you consider your vessel in the northerly north hemisphere so this is earth blue is on the north side and the red on the bottom side and your vessel in the north hemisphere that means is so the, the line of force in leaving from the red to entering blue so where if your vessel in the north hemisphere during the construction okay 
it will acquire blue on the top that means your deck will color blue and your keel will color red so if you see this your funnel will acquire the blue on top red on the bottom blue funnel bottoms so the compass is close to the merchant vessel the compass is very close to the funnel so the most of the ib is caused by the funnel okay the compass is generally situated at level with the top poles of the mast and the funnel sometimes is the mast but in the merchant vessel mast is forward or just aft or above or the it will not affect because of the crane so only the mast and the funnel the mast is also very far the forward mast is very far from the so the top poles therefore affect the compass more as compared to the bottom poles of this structure as the funnel is largest vessel on board and is situated close to abaft of the compass it produces the most predominant effect so deviation due to ib is equal to ib into sin compass course where ib is the value of coefficient ib and westerly deviation on easterly course so let's discuss minus ib so we mark ib is minus ib is westerly deviation on all the easterly heading and easterly deviation on the westerly headings okay so we make the vessels on the cardinal and internal cardinal directions now we'll mark the compass okay so on the earth the blue is on top and the red is on bottom the line of force leaving from the red and entering from the blue okay now minus ib is caused blue at the funnel top so this is you if you see this is diagram we are looking from the top view so this is your funnel imagine this is your funnel so if you see this diagram we are talking about this picture looking from the top if you look on the top you will see the blue on the top so this is your blue and the red is behind this okay so we see the blue on top okay now first we discuss the deviation then we'll see the df directive force the compass is like this okay four and a half line okay now here it is in line so no deviation or you can say deviation is nil here so it is blue here and it is compass is red so it will attract because it is opposite so opposite is attract and the same is repel so it will attract cause the westerly deviation here attract maximum westerly deviation westerly deviation here it will not attract it will in line with that so no deviation here attract sterly 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 so all on this pastel heading it will cause sterly so if you see this diagram on the westerly heading on the 
zero zero to one eight zero it will cause westerly deviation and from one eight zero to three sixty degree it is cause easterly deviation. Okay, now this is three D diagram. Now we consider this two D diagram. Now you just see this is on paper and the blue is on top, red on the bottom. The line of force leaving from the red going from the blue. So when going like this. If we going like this, okay. So blue on top, but because of blue is here, so D F radius maximum because it's in line, but is opposite side. So D F radius maximum. So D F decreased. No D F. df increased because in going close to the line parallel of line this maximum df increase df increased okay no df and df reduce okay one more time i explain you this is blue pair this is red earth magnetic the line of force is going like this if your blue like this that means maximum goes in line no it is in line so blue blue red red so maximum df increase but if it is opposite like red here and the blue is it is decrease df is there but there is df decrease and maximum df Okay. Now, how this deviation graph will show? So it will westerly deviation all the heading from zero zero to one eight zero. So from zero zero to one eight zero is westerly, and from westerly to north east is westerly deviation. So now plus IB. so blue on top red on okay make the compass all the cardinal intercardinal headings plus ib is caused westerly deviation on the all the westerly headings and westerly deviation all the westerly headings okay now on the plus ib there is generally not present ib in plus ib generally minus ib is present because of funnel but i will show you if the ib is plus ib is present how the it will mix so that means red funnel and it is in south hemisphere if you remember this this is earth magnetism leaving from the red going to like this if your vessel is in south hemisphere that means blue will here and the red is here so funnel will acquire red and we are seeing this red is here okay now on the compass we first uh, we first discuss the deviation then we'll discuss the directive force okay so same here and same here so it will repel 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 it is in line it will repel westerly repel okay repel so here no deviation because in line here also no deviation okay maximum easterly deviation maximum westerly deviation here deviation easterly deviation easterly deviation westerly deviation westerly by this okay 
now we will discuss directive force so here is the directive force so red is here so that means blue is somewhere here okay if you imagine in 2d diagrams now before we are discussing in the 3d diagram now we 2d diagram so blue is here red is here so if it is line red is matching with the red and the somewhere blue is here so the df increased maximum here it is opposite so df reduce maximum so same here df reduce df reduce no df thus right angle df reduce df increased df increased okay so how the graph is looks like on the 0 0 to 180 is sterling deviation and from east and south 180 to 360 is westerly deviation for minus iv generally plus bb is not present in the merchant vessels so we discuss only the minus iv minus for minus iv westerly deviation on easterly course easterly deviation on westerly course when you prepare this cardinal inter cardinals so you no need to mug up this all this you can by making this and you can the easily only this describe now westerly deviation on easterly course if you remember minus ib is like this so westerly deviation on easterly course and easterly deviation on westerly course maximum deviation is on east and west course nil deviation on north and south course df increase southerly heading and maximum at south df decrease northerly heading and maximum at north effect of latitude on deviation due to ib the vertical soft iron vsi induced by z z increase the amount of induced therefore deviation deviating field increase so deviation also increased same vertical the component z decrease deviation also decrease ib deviation is equal to proportional to z but if z and induction vertical soft iron constant deviation field is constant so deviation is very inverse deviation is very inversely as h so like in the case of pb deviation ib is deviation in inversely proportional to 1 upon h okay now how we correct correction of ib done using the vertical soft iron so this is a minus ib the blue is on top and the red is on funnel bottom and the compass is here so we put the flinder bars as is, is initially a video i show you flinder bars kept in four and half directions so compensate this funnel error we put the flinder bar forward of the compass equal and opposite so if you see this blue so blue is down red is down so red is on top so that it will nullify the effect of funnel this two diagrams we discuss if the com you uh, this is flinder bars okay flinder bars where we put this rods the basic principle followed generally is to correct the like with like vessel is cost vessel is used for correction in the form of flinder bars so minus ib is cost is correct with flinder bars the value of induced magnetism depends upon the length of soft iron strength the length of the flinder bars is varied as per the correction required minus ib is caused by induced magnetism in the ship's vertical soft iron should be corrected by a equal and opposite field produced by induced magnetism in vertical soft iron the purpose being to ensure that the correction holds good for all latitudes now the flinder bars flinder bars is placed inside a brass case brass case 610 mm long attached to the binnacle the soft iron bars of the following dimension are provided 305 mm 152 mm 76 mm 38 mm and 19 mm scale two rods making the total of 610 mm so if you mel add all these numbers you will get the 610 mm so how to remember this 305 152 76 and 38 19 mm 
so just you just to read uh, remember only 305 now 305 divided by 2 you will get 152.5 so round it 152 now 152 divided by 2 you will get 76 and 76 divided by 2 you will get 38 and 38 divided by 2 you will get 19 so no need to mug up only just remember 305 and we are going to divide by 2 and the 19 mm route we have to place 2 total is 610 so wooden piece of same di dimension are also provided which are placed at the bottom when the entire length of the flinder bars is not required so if your flinder bars is not required so we have to put wooden the flinder bar will place fore and aft compass due to funnel of in aft the flinder bar will be placed forward of the compass due to funnel in aft if the length is larger funnel is higher than the compass then the top flinder bar should be slightly higher than the level of the compass card so if you see here this is slightly higher than the compass okay if the length is very short the top of the bar is placed slightly lower than the level of the card the second diagram resultant field of the horizontal fore and aft Now correction of PB and IB together, if they both are present, how will correct together? To split B into components, simultaneous equations are required to place. Two values of horizontal and two values of jet, which is vertical components. Experience adjuster use estimate value of IB. The experience adjuster required to correct this. The, if the ship is magnetic equator, there is no IB, only PB is present then correct this will be permanent magnetic why on the equator if you remember this diagram if it is equator no induction if you remember this which is available in my past the first video here is the line of force going like this so it will acquire blue is here the red is here. If you still have doubt, go to my previous video and watch. So there is no induction, and in this two here, it is induction. Now we finish coefficient B, we are moving to coefficient C. The coefficient C is the maximum value of semicircular deviation. This B and C both are the semicircular deviation, which varies as a cosine of the compass course. If you remember the formula, deviation is equal to A plus B sine co plus C compass course. C cos compass course. So which varies as a cosine of the compass course cost by horizontal PC force Q which is in earthward ship direction and IC by soft iron and by F rods. Plus C is cost when PC and IC act to starboard. Minus C is cost when PC and IC act to ports. So let's discuss PC plus PC and minus PC. PC due to force Q cost by horizontal earthward ship component of the ship's permanent magnetic field at the compass. Induce we discuss later. So first we discuss the PC. Plus C or PC is the same. Easterly deviation on northerly course and westerly deviation on southerly course. In minus PC or minus C, westerly deviation on northerly course and easterly deviation on southerly course. So you have to remember these two. Semicircular. Okay. So if your vessel in the Study headings. You see plus PC. This is a blue earth magnetism. This red down. When entered, it will acquire the blue and the red leaving. So if your starboard side is blue and the port side is red, that means your PC ship building sturdy heading. And if your vessel in blue on the port side and red on the starboard side, that means minus PC will present and ship building westerly headings.
ओके सो लेट्स डिस्कस पी सी प्लस पी सी सो प्लस पी सी इज कॉल इस्टर्ली डेविएशन ऑन द नॉर्थ अर्ली हेडिंग एंड वेस्टर्ली डेविएशन ऑन द ऑल द साउथ अर्ली सो वी मेक द वेसल ऑन ऑल एट डायरेक्शन कार्डिनल एंड इंटर कार्डिनल डायरेक्शन एंड वी मार्क द कंपस ओके रेड इज ऑन बॉर्ड साउथ साइड ब्लू वॉज ऑन टॉप साइड दिस अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स लिविंग फ्रॉम द ब्लू सॉरी द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स लिविंग फ्रॉम द रेड इंटरिंग फ्रॉम द ब्लू ओके सो नाउ द प्लस पी सी इज ब्लू ऑन द स्टाबोर्ड साइड एंड रेड ऑन द पोर्ट साइड सो मेक ब्लू ऑन द स्टाबोर्ड साइड and the red on port side okay now compass is looks like this correct so if you see the red it will attract so it will cause it will attract here so it's totally deviation first we discuss about the deviation then we come to directive force here is totally deviation here no deviation here no deviation why because in line with it is no deviation because in the easterly westerly headings because of this in line with the directive force so no deviation no deviation here red and red so repel so it will cause westerly deviation here attract no so westerly deviation westerly deviation no deviation and here attract so easterly deviation so easterly deviation on on northerly course and westerly deviation on or southerly course due to the plus pc now we see the directive force for directive force maximum it should be line with the like this there is maximum so if you see this smashing is here okay so maximum df increased it is opposite but in line so df reduce maximum here it is not in line so df nil or df no effect whatever you df is nil or df is zero here it is in slightly line but is opposite side so df reduce here also df reduce here df nil or no effect of df df increased maximum df and df increased okay so how the graphs look like north to east steadily then from east to west steadily then again steadily so let's see minus pc make the vessel cardinal and cardinal headings minus pc westerly course westerly division on easterly course and easterly division on the southerly course so make the compass okay earth red blue top line of force leaving from the red going to the blue okay now on the minus pc is blue on the port side
रेड ऑन द स्टार्बोर्ड साइड ओके द कंपास इज लुक लाइक दिस सो वील सी ओनली दिस ओके सो हियर attract 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 so if you see this first we discuss the deviation so here westerly deviation westerly deviation no deviation in line with that no deviation in the east and west course here is westerly deviation if you see this river westerly westerly deviation westerly deviation df here is no df no df maximum df increased because in line df reduce maximum df reduce df increased df increased and uh, df reduce df reduce for plus pc deviation is nil on 00 090 and 270 and maximum deviation on 00 0 and 180 it is varies as a cosine of compass course The active field of compass acting towards the magnetic north is decreased on all the westerly headings. DF increase on westerly heading, maximum increased at two seven zero westerly headings, and maximum reduced at zero nine zero westerly headings. Change of latitudes. So higher latitude and lower latitudes. On the higher latitude, H is small because it is uh, on the higher pole is it is at uh, zero. and the maximum at on pole h is nil and the equator is maximum so higher latitude h is small so deviation is large and lower latitude h is large and deviation is small so it is inversely proportional to so deviation due to pc is inversely proportional to the horizontal components at any one place deviation due to pc is equal to pc into cos compass course permanent c correction the basic principle followed generally is corrected like with like the purpose being to ensure that the correction holds good for all the latitudes pc which is caused by shift athwa shift horizontal permanent magnetic field is therefore corrected using athwa shift permanent magnetic phase horizontally they are so placed so as to produce a permanent magnetic field at the compass exactly equal and opposite to that of the shift similar magnet are used for length 8 meter 8 mm long and diameter is 3 by 8 or 3 by 16 mm long placed with their axis athwa shift and horizontal below the compass card so as to produce a permanent athwa shift magnetic field equal to but opposite in direction to the shift magnetic field this correction is made when heading is north south that heading on which pc produces maximum deviation so if you see this is starboard side and this is port side so we are blue on the starboard side that means plus pc so we are correcting this so we have to keep this opposite side so red on starboard side and blue on the port side corrector so this way you have to correct so in the exam you have to make this diagram correct pc plus pc and if you correct minus pc then you have to opposite okay i will show you if you want to correct minus pc this is your compass so in minus pc the blue is on the port side and the red on the starboard side so 
for correcting this you have to place blue is here that is here so that it will nullify okay so this is for minus pc and this is for plus pc Now induce C. IC is caused by horizontal earthship magnetic field due to induced magnetism in the vertical soft iron to port or starboard of the compass. Practically IC does not exit on a merchant vessel to port or starboard of the ship center line symmetrically placed. It, it may exit in the compass is placed off the center line due to F rod. So generally merchant vessel the accommodation is on midship and uh, generally the magnetic compass is in exactly in the fore and aft line in the midship direction in the midship fore and aft line so generally i this uh, induce ic is not present in the merchant vessel it is present in the aircraft carrier if you see this aircraft carrier it is not the bridge is not in center line so how your uh, compass is in center line fore and aft line okay compass is of the center line so induce c is present so generally ic is present in the aircraft carrier not in merchant vessel Okay, so plus IC, if this is present plus IC, that means your vessel is in North Hemisphere. If you see this diagram, North Hemisphere, the acquire the blue on the top and the red is on the keel. So if you see on the 3D diagrams, first we make the cardinal, intercardinals, headings, all the vessels. Then we mark the earth magnetism, which is blue on the top and the red on the south you can say down or south and blue on the north or you can say top whatever you want to do do okay so blue on the starboard side plus ic so we make the compass make the needle here it will attract specially deviation because this different pole is attract same pole repel so it will attract here it will not attract here also it will not attract in line of the in the line of force so it will here attract Okay, so let's discuss deviation. Deviation is maximum sterly. Here, sterly deviation. Here, sterly deviation. Here, no deviation. Or nil deviation. You see this no deviation here maximum is here easterly maximum westerly here all this from the east to west means this in this direction it is westerly it is in easterly so here is westerly maximum westerly deviation westerly deviation now if you see in the 2d diagram here it is not in the line with the line of force of earth so no deviation no change of df or df is nil here it is in line slightly in line but is opposite side so df reduce df reduce maximum df reduce no df df increased df increased maximum because in line df increased so how the graph is looks like on the north to east of 
ओके दिस इज द ग्राफ ऑफ डेविएशन ऑफ प्लस आईसी नाउ माइनस आईसी मेक द वेसल ऑल द कार्डिनल एंड इंडर कार्डिनल हेडिंग्स मेक द अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म देन द रेड ब्लू ऑन द पोर्ट साइड Compass is on center. Okay. Westerly, westerly attract. Here no, it will in line. Here attract like this. So westerly, westerly, westerly. So D F. maximum westerly deviation westerly deviation westerly deviation if you see this see no deviation no deviation westerly deviation westerly deviation maximum westerly deviation okay df no df df increased because in line df increased maximum df increased no df df reduced df reduced maximum df reduced how the graph looks like Okay. The effect of course on deviation of IC. Since IC deviation is nil on east and west course and maximum, but an opposite name as north and south course, it varies directly as cosine of compass course. Deviation due to IC is directly proportional to cos of compass course. Effect of latitude on deviation due to IC. The same ship will acquire no induced magnetism in her vertical soft iron at the magnetic equator, as the inducing force Z is nil. Therefore, IC will be zero. In the north and in the north, the vertical soft iron is induced with the blue pole on the top producing plus IC, whereas in south hemisphere, the same vessel, vertical soft iron, will be induced with the rod pole on top producing minus IC. So deviation due to IC is equal to IC into 10 deep into cos compass course. So correction of IC directly IC will not present in merchant vessels. So we will discuss how IC will correct. In normal ship, will well replaced compass. There is no IC and such a such a correction is not required. But if the compass is badly placed, there may be an induced C present on the compass position. it should be corrected using the same principle as for induced b depending on the predominance of the ship's vertical soft iron being to starboard or port of the compass the flinder bar should be placed to port or starboard of the binnacle respectively now if the ib and bc are present together how will we correct it we'll discuss already that ib is caused by funnel okay and ic is because of the earthward shift fore and aft which is not a uh, compass is not exactly in the fore and aft line it's slightly generally it is in aircraft carrier but if it present in the merchant vessel also then we correct combination so the, if you see this diagram the this is funnel blue and this is your ic so first to correct funnel ib we put the flinder bars in the forward of the compass so like here then we have to correct ic together so we have to where the combination of no? that means where there we have to slow the course so correct this also we have to slow the vessel and make the correction is on here so ic is vertical structure cause pc funnel causing ib flinder bar placed forward and forward first we have to correct ib that means funnel is aft so we place the flinder bar forward and then we turn and slow the port this direction should be 90 degree to the deflected needles 
सो वी कैलकुलेट द ट्रेन स्लू एंगल इज इक्वल टू आई सी अपॉन आई बी द इंडियो सी इज नॉट द इंडियो सी इज नॉट करेक्टेड सेपरेटली विद फ्रिंडाबास द सेम फ्रिंडाबार विच करेक्ट इज आई बी इज यूज टू करेक्ट आई सी द एंगल मेड बाई फ्रिंडाबार इज टू फॉरवर्ड एंड आप लाइन ऑफ द फेसल इज एंगल ऑफ स्लू द फ्रिंडाबास इज स्लूड एट द एंगल ऑफ द फॉरवर्ड ऑफ लाइन एंड नलीफाई द रेसिलेंट Resultant effect of the vessel in the forward, aft, and athwart ship line. Angle of flow is de denoted by m. Thumb rule of IB and IC correction. This is also important. Maximum time they ask question from the PB. This coefficient B and C and D and E. Very rare they ask uh, A. So PB and coefficient B, C, D are so simple. Maximum you will confuse in bit. coefficient b and c if you watch this video two three times and you just practice on then you will understand and if you want this uh, pdf just uh, the in the description box there is a number given just text me and we'll provide you the pdf copy of this so thumb rule of ib and ic correction if ib and ic are, are the same sign Slow the flinder bar clockwise by the M. The position in which it is correctly IB. Head the vessel north 90 minus M east south 90 minus M west. If IB and IC are the different sign, slow the flinder bar anti-clockwise by M from the position in which it is correctly IB. Head the vessel north 90 minus M west or south 90 minus M east. So there is a. Two three times there is one numerical coming. So in the my next video when we I solve this a past M M D paper, then I will be doing. So before that you are going to move past papers. You have to understand the basic concept which is in explain in the past part one video and this second video, which is little long but we have to correct or cover all this coefficient. No this. So coefficient D. Coefficient d is the maximum value of quadrantal deviation which varies as sine of twice the compass course. So sine of twice the compass course and quadrantal deviation. So coefficient d and coefficient is cost quadrantal deviation. So if you see the formula, deviation is equal to a plus b sine co plus c cos co plus d sine two cos plus e cos two cos. So that means d is sine two cos plus d cos by continuous athwart ship minus e rods and divided. Four and a half soft iron plus a rods. Easterly deviation on northeasterly, southwesterly quadrant course. Westerly deviation on southeasterly and northwesterly quadrant course. Maximum deviation on northeasterly, southeasterly, southwesterly, northwesterly course. Nil on the cardinal headings. Continuous four one and a half athwart ship soft iron decrease mean directive force at compass. Divided four and a half athwart ship soft iron increase mean directive force at the compass. On the merchant ship, the transfer beam E rods and F and A girder A rods are the structure that produce coefficient d at the compass. The number of transfer beam are normally larger than the number of girders. Further, the poles form towards the end of the beams are closer to the compass than those of the girders. Therefore, the most merchant ship have plus d at the compass position. Coefficient d is caused by horizontal field at the compass position due to induced magnetism in the horizontal soft iron situated symmetrically about the forward and aft line through the compass. The horizontal soft iron may be forward and aft or athwart ship, being horizontally they are induced by H. So coefficient d, which is caused continuous athwart ship or divided forward and aft soft iron. Or minus d divided athwart ship or continuous four and a half soft iron minus e plus a for plus d and minus d for plus e and minus a. So you remember this. Now d continuous athwart ship soft iron. Now we see the plus d. Okay, continuous athwart ship soft iron. So we make the compass on the center in the all the cardinal and intercardinal headings. Okay. Now the athwart ship direction. 
अथवा शिप एंड कंटिन्यूस ओके सो मेक द कंपास सो डेविएशन इज नील डेविएशन इज नील हियर इट विल एक्वायर द द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स लिविंग ऑन द अर्थ इट इज लिविंग फ्रॉम द रेड इंटरिंग फ्रॉम द ब्लू सो इफ यू इट विल एक्वायर द ब्लू पोल हियर करेक्ट ब्लू पोल हियर blue here it will not acquire on the southerly heading again it will blue here blue here mm -hmm. red leaving red okay <coughs> now since this is so deviation is nil okay first we discuss about deviation then we come to reactive force so here repel so easterly deviation here no deviation because in line of the earth magnetic field so no deviation here also no deviation okay so here it is same so it will repel here no here it will attract so easterly deviation here it will attract westerly so easterly deviation no deviation and here is westerly deviation no deviation easterly deviation no deviation westerly deviation so here df nil or d no effect of dl no effect of df df no effect here the it is in line but is opposite so df reduce exactly in line so maximum df reduce maximum df reduce maximum. here df reduce df nil df reduce df reduce maximum and df reduce df reduce df decreased whatever you want you can write <coughs> now how the graph looks like so graph is from north to the east it is easterly then from 90 to 180 it is westerly then easterly then west so it will quadrantal now plus d divided for an up soft iron so make the vessel on the all cardinal and inter cardinal headings make the compass cards in the central okay now it is divided for an an aft four one and up and it is divided okay four and a half line and it's divided now the earth magnetism red is on the south blue is on north so line of force going like this way leaving from the red entering from the blue it is earth magnetism now how it will affect shift magnetism let's see so it will acquire blue here blue here blue here it will not acquire here blue 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 okay so understand is how we will acquire the red and blue okay where entering it will acquire the blue pole and where is leaving it is acquire the red pole on the ships 
okay how the now it's behaving the compass so it is in line okay here it will closes one the effect is closes one so it will attract the different pole blue pole and the red pole so attract so it will cause easterly here it will not cost in here it will cause attract westerly here it will not cause here it will attract easterly here it will not here it will attract westerly so df deviation is nil here here yeah. deviation easterly maximum deviation nil deviation westerly maximum here no deviation deviation maximum easterly no deviation so deviation westerly maximum so if you see here westerly maximum westerly maximum easterly maximum easterly maximum and here 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 all the cardinal point it is will not deviation so if you can remember this by this not df see the df the line of force leaving from the red entering from the blue okay on the earth so it will see it is blue is here red is here okay so df increase in if the, it is divided don't consider this one and this one consider closest one so closest one is blue and that which is aligned with the exactly in the line of force of earth because see the blue is matching and the red and red matching so df increased maximum here also we have to disc only take out this two huh? so df increased there is no df no effect of df okay here df increased df increased because we will consider this one df increased df no effect and df increased so how the graph is looks like so from north to east it is easterly then south westerly then again easterly then northerly it is again westerly now we discuss minus d so we make the minus d with this continuous pole and up soft iron so make the cardinal intercardinals okay make the earth magnetism the blue is on top red on down make the compass in all the cardinal and intercardinal north to south south to north east to west okay now it is continuous forward and aft so continuous forward and aft okay where we entered it will acquire the blue pole so blue pole where it sleep acquire the red pole okay here no effect no deviation because in line here it will attract westerly here it will not here it will repel so steadily here in line here it will repel repel okay so deviation nil deviation westerly maximum deviation nil deviation easterly maximum deviation nil deviation westerly maximum no deviation 
डेविएशन इस्टरली मैक्सिमम ओके डी एफ रिड्यूस डी एफ डिक्रीज मैक्सिमम बिकॉज इट इज इन लाइन बट इज इन इक्वल एंड अपोजिट लाइन नो सो डी एफ इंक्रीज डी एफ डिक्रीज मैक्सिमम डी एफ डिक्रीज डी एफ नॉट इफेक्ट डी एफ डिक्रीज डी एफ डिक्रीज मैक्सिमम डी एफ डिक्रीज नो इफेक्ट ऑफ डी एफ डी एफ डिक्रीज और रिड्यूज वट एवर देन हाउ द ग्राफ इट इज वेस्टर्ली देन इस्टर्ली देन सिमिलरली माइनस डी डिवाइडेड अथवा शिप्स सो मेक द कार्डिना इंटर कार्डिना मेक द अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म मेक द कंपास ओके नाउ इट इज डिवाइडेड एथवर्ड शिप्स ओके वेर इंटर एक्वायर द ब्लू पोल where it leaves acquire the red pole okay so here no effect of df in this here it will attract westerly here no in this two westerly 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 so deviation nil deviation westerly maximum deviation nil deviation nil deviation westerly maximum deviation nil deviation westerly maximum deviation is terly maximum okay df now df no effect df not effect df increased because the blue and the red it is in line with the line of force so df increased df increased maximum here also df increased maximum df increased df increased df increased so this is deviation table now effect of latitude induction is due to h at the pole h is zero therefore no induction at the equator h is maximum so maximum induction greater the h greater the induction greater the disturbing field since the directive force f at the compass is due to h s increase in h cause an increase in the directive force as the h increase the directive force increase together proportional to the decrease or together proportional therefore the deviation due to d is unaffected by the change of magnetic latitude correction of d see in the red is down south side and the blue is on top this is earth magnetic now vessel in north easterly heading so beam in starboard side is blue and the beam in port side is red so we this coefficient is corrected by soft iron spare which means cleft port and of port and starboard in earth ship action normally d is present on the merchant ship minus d is required to correct so plus d we corrected by minus d and minus d we correct by the plus d so normally the plus d is present on the merchant ship minus d is required to correct this which will nullify the plus d cost on all courses coefficient are always corrected on the heading on which they produce so maximum deviation on any intercardinal so northeast southeast southwest northwest 
basic principle followed is correcting compass is to cure with cure like with like there is permanent division is curl with permanent magnetism and induced division with induced magnetism using two soft iron spare divided earthward shift placed on either side of the compass in the earthward shift plane the correction is done on any side any one of the intercardinal heading where the division due to d is maximum the spare are placed in a bracket attached to the binnacle so that their center are in the same plane as the plane of the needle system of the compass the amount of correction provided by the spare can be increased or decreased shifting them closer or further away from the compass on their brackets it is important that the center of the spare are in level with the compass needle the compass the spare should not be placed close to the compass 1.25 times the length of the longest needle spare are chosen for the following reason why we choose only the spare so because of this diagram the spare is the most regular of all geometric shapes hence the correction by them will be most uniform on all headings it is important that center of the spare are in level with the compass needle the divided soft iron spare in addition to the correcting coefficient d also provides a very desirable effect of increasing the mean reactive force at the compass position this is an advantage as for the same disturbing field the deviation would be lesser if the reactive force is large however it should be noted that when the north and south heading if the spare are considered as bar magnet they are both side on the compass needle while on the east and west heading they are is on the compass needle since the field due to magnet in the end position is double than the in the broad side on the position at the compass distance it is clear that the on east west heading the increase in reactive force is two times the decrease in reactive forces the cost when the heading in north south does the mean reactive force at the compass is increased so now the coefficient e the coefficient e is the maximum value of quadrant deviation which varies as the cosine of the twice the compass course so it is quadrantal deviation and as varies as the cosine of the twice of the compass course it is caused by horizontal field at the compass position due to induced magnetism in a horizontal soft iron situated symmetrically about 45 degree line through the compass position so plus e caused by rods plus b and plus d minus e is caused by minus b and d rods so continuous soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter or divided this is divided this is continuous Conti so continuous soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter or divided soft iron from starboard bow to port quarters where is it here the continuous soft iron from starboard bow to port quarter or divided soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter okay plus e so now we are doing is divided soft iron from starboard bow to port quarter so we make the vessel all the all heading cardinal and intercardinal and then we mark the red pole on the south side okay red and the blue on the north that show that earth magnetism now it is we mark the all the compass now it is starboard bow and port quarter and it is divided so starboard bow and port quarter okay now the line of force entered that make blue pole so it blue pole here and here and where it leaves that become red pole now let's see how the compass is behaving so if the divided then we have to consider closest one so this is blue and this is red and compass needle is looks like that 
So now it's close to the okay. Now attract towards the blue pole and this is red needle so it will attract eastward okay here no reflect attract to westward no reflection here it is repel because red red so it will repel it is it will attract here and it will attract so let's see deviation easterly maximum here deviation nil westerly deviation maximum you can see here vex okay here deviation nil because it is in line in the earth magnetic field so the deviation nil here easterly deviation and maximum here deviation nil westerly deviation maximum here deviation nil okay now we can let's see that about the directive force so in directive force it is, if it is divided then we consider the closest one so this one so it's slightly aligned with this on the blue and the red if it is aligned with exactly blue then mean it is maximum df but if it is not yeah, is opposite then it will reduce maximum so it's blue here it's red here close to align so df increased okay here it is not so df no effect here it's close to the in align so df increased here exactly in a line so df maximum increased here also df increased here df nil or no 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 effect of df df increased df increased maximum okay so how will show the graph easterly westerly So this is a graph of deviation. Now plus is constant soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter. Okay, so we again we make the all cardinal or intercardinal headings, and then we'll mark the compass. Okay. So port bow and starboard quarter, and it is cons continue. Okay. So where the line of force enter, it will acquire the blue pole. and where it leave it become red pole okay so here it will attract towards east easterly because it's closest blue so it will attract towards the blue here 
so easterly deviation here it is in line of earth magnetism so deviation nil here attract towards the blue so westerly deviation here no deviation repels the same red red so it will easterly deviation here deviation nil because it is in line westerly deviation no deviation so df it is df reduce because it is opposite if it is here blue and red is here that it is df increase but it is opposite of the this and this so it will df reduce okay so here is exactly opposite so df reduce maximum here also df reduced df no effect no effect of df df reduced df reduce maximum df reduced and no effect of df so how the graph looks like okay now we discuss minus is constant soft iron from starboard bow to port quarter so same mark the red red pole on the south and blue pole on the earth so that earth magnetism now mark the all the cardinal intercardinal headings and then draw the compass of the vessel okay so now it is starboard bow and port quarter so this starboard bow and port quarter and is constant so constant okay now where it will enter it will acquire the blue pole where it leave it require red pole now we'll see how the compass behaving so is close to the close to the blue pole so it will attract towards the blue pole okay so westerly deviation here no deviation here the same so it will repel so it's totally deviation here no deviation because it is in line so deviation nil here it will attract so westerly deviation deviation nil easterly deviation deviation nil okay now see the df it is in a position so df reduced df no effect same df no effect df reduced df reduce maximum df reduced here df not affected here df reduced and df reduce maximum okay so graph is become so 
तो दिस इज डेविएशन ग्राफ नाउ माइनस इज डिवाइडेड सॉफ्ट आयरन फ्रॉम पोर्ट बाउ टू स्टार बोर्ड क्वार्टर इट इज डिवाइडेड ओके तो सेम मार्क द ऑल कार्डिनल इंटर कार्डिनल मार्क द कंपल्स मार्क द अर्थ मैग्नेटिज्म द रेड इज साउथ ब्लू इज नॉर्थ ओके नाउ इट इज डिवाइडेड एंड इन पोर्ट बाउ सो दिस पोर्ट बाउ डिवाइडेड एंड द स्टार बोर्ड क्वार्टर ओके सो वी मार्क दिस इज ऑन द सेम इन ऑल द हेडिंग्स Okay, where it take acquire blue pole. Where it leave become red pole. Now see the how the compass is behaving. The closest one. so blue and red so here is westerly deviation because it will attract so westerly deviation okay here it is in line so deviation nil here it will attract to here so westerly deviation here deviation nil westerly deviation deviation nil because it is in line westerly deviation no deviation okay now df so to the clueless one it is in line so df increased here exactly in line so df increase maximum here df increased here df no effect df increased df increased maximum df increased df no effect so how the graph okay the plus is caused by continuous soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter or divided soft iron from starboard bow to port quarter sterly deviation between north easterly and north westerly course between south easterly and south westerly course westerly deviation between north easterly south easterly course and between south westerly and north west westerly course maximum deviation on north east west south west course nil on the intercardinal headings continuous soft iron decrease mean df at compound divided soft iron increase mean df at compound so deviation due to change of course is equal to e into cos 2 compost course and whereas minus e caused by continuous soft iron from starboard bow to port quarter or port quarter or divided soft iron from port bow to starboard quarter In here, westerly deviation between north easterly and north westerly course, and between south easterly and south westerly course. Whereas, easterly deviation between north easterly and south easterly course, and between south west and north west course. Maximum deviation on north east, northerly, easterly, southerly, westerly course. Nil on intercardinal headings. Coefficient e caused by b and d rods of the same time. Continuous soft iron decrease mean df at compound. Divided soft iron increase mean df at compound. Effect of latitude, there is no effect. Induction is due to h at the pole h is zero there and therefore there is no induction. At the equator h is maximum so maximum induction. Greater the h greater the induction and greater the disturbing field. Since the directive force at the compass is due to h and increase in h cause an increase in the directive force. As the h increase the df increase together proportional or decrease together proportionally. Therefore, the deviation due to east is unaffected by the change of magnetic latitude, same as coefficient d. Coefficient e is equal to deviation on north minus deviation on east 
प्लस डेविशन ऑन साउथ माइनस डेविशन ऑन वेस्ट डिवाइड बाई फोर सो यू विल गेट डेविशन कॉस टू ईस्ट इजल टू ईस्ट इन टू कॉस टू कम्पोस्ट कोर्स सो हाउ इट इज करेक्टेड सेम वी सॉफ्ट आयरन स्पेयर बट इट इज नॉट करेक्टेड इंडिविजुअल सो इफ द डी एंड ई प्रेजेंट टूगेदर सो वी करेक्ट फर्स्ट डी देन आफ्टर द ई ओके सी इफ इट इज ब्लू एंड द रेड पोल सो वी हैव टू करेक्ट द सॉफ्ट आयरन स्पेयर इट इज इंटर इज एक्वायर द ब्लू एंड इट्स लीव द रेड सो इट विल नलीफाई दिस एरर को इफिशियंट ई एरर एंड माइनस इज करेक्टेड बाई दिस वे ऑन नॉर्मल मैचेंट वेसल को इफिशियंट इज हाउ बट हाउ बी करेक्ट सो इफ देर इज करेक्शन इन द क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू राइट दिस ऑन ए नॉर्मल मैचेंट वेसल को इफिशियंट इज वुड बी अपसेंट हाउ एवर इट इज प्रेजेंट देन करेक्शन इज डन बाई सॉफ्ट आयरन स्पेयर बट प्लेस डायग्नोली S is done for coefficient d. If plus e is present, compass minus is can be introduced the spare place. So if it is present e, so we have to correct by minus e. And if it is minus e, we have to correct the plus e. Means opposite. So plus e is present at compass. So minus e can be introduced by the spare place at angle of forty five degree, port bow and starboard quarter. If minus e is present and the compass. Plus, it can be introduced by the spare placed at angle 45 degree, starboard bow and port quarters. So 45 degrees slew. This correction is carried out with ships heading on any of the cardinal headings where deviation due to is is maximum, because always correction is carried out where the deviation is maximum. So correction of D and E together. Okay. So there is also question in the past on the numerical types. so i will explain the my third video which is a past mmd papers okay correction of d and e together if both present corrected by a single soft iron spare slew to some intermediate angle m from a position they corrected d alone so 10 th- 10 to m is equal to e upon d when 10 is equal to twice angle of slew is equal to e upon d so maximum deviation due to d and e under root d square plus e square So procedure for slewing to correct plus g spare are placed athwart ship. So first we have to correct d, then we have to correct e. So to correct d, spare place athwart ship. So if it is d present, we have to correct it with minus d. So d present is athwart ship direction. So to correct d, spare are placed athwart ship. To correct minus d, spare are placed fore and aft. To correct plus e, spare are placed port bow and starboard quarter. To correct minus e, spare are placed starboard bow and port quarter. When correcting both, so first D is corrected by placing the spare athwart ship, and then spare are pla- slew to correct E. If both D and E are the same sign, then slew clockwise. If both and D are different sign, then slew the anti-clockwise. Find one heading on which the spare will lie either in the northeast southeast direction or in the southeast northwest direction. Then find the three headings by adding and subtracting 90 degrees suc- successively. The combined correction can be done on any of these four headings. So this combined correction, when we solve the past MMD paper, then you will be more clear. Now healing error, it is also cause deviation, but it is not coming so frequently in exam. So, but it might be come. So just go through one time. It's also simple. Okay, so let's. Do the healing error also. When the com- compass is when the compass is corrected in a particular latitude for coefficient a, b, c, d, and e, it holds good for any latitude provided the ship is upright. Okay. Healing error. It is the difference in deviation between that when the ship is upright and that when we heal on the same courses. Thus, if the deviation was five degree, like your if the vessel was upright, your deviation was five degrees. After heal, if your deviation is seven degrees, that means healing error is two degrees. Cause when the ship sails, the compass being is gambled, remain horizontal. A magnetic field acting vertically at compass position will cause no deviation. But when the ship heals, the field act at oblique angle. The horizontal component of this oblique field will cause a deviation, healing error. When the vessel is 
rolling the force act in the opposite direction during port and starboard rolls leading to oscillation of the compass card the rolling makes the card swing from one side to other side resulting in a very unsteady compass making steady difficult effect a blue predominantly pole below the compass course is hailing error to the higher side a red predominantly pole below the compass course a hailing error to be lower side therefore when a vessel is rolling it cause on oscillation of the compass card which makes steering difficult rolling makes the card swing from one side to the other resulting in a very, very unsteady compass total hailing error is composed of permanent hailing error and induced hailing error so permanent hailing error due to force r the vertical component of the ship permanent magnetic field at the compass position hailing error varies as the cause of compass course whereas induced hailing error due to soft iron k rod and e rods also g and c rod is present but usually very insignificant k vertical soft iron pillars above and below the compass induced by j e rods hailing error cause due to induced magnetism in horizontal soft iron earthward shift induced by z generally this soft iron which gives rise to coefficient d g rod hailing error cause due to induced magnetic field at horizontal soft iron fore and aft induced by h terminating below the compass c rods hailing error cause due to induced magnetic field in the vertical soft iron fore and aft compass induced by h so induced magnetism for healing is not so important as a point of ex examination permanent healing error if the ship is built in the north hemisphere the deck will be have blue pole and the keel have a red pole so force are positive the compass swing the higher side when the ship sail if the ship is built in the south hemisphere the deck will have a red pole and the keel have a blue pole force r minus the compass swing in the lower side when the ship is heel so this already we explain in the first video effect of change of course so effect of change of course so let's discuss if vessel have in north hemisphere so the blue pole is on top and the red pole on down okay so we make the first cardinal and inter cardinal marks make the earth magnetic which is south on the red and the blue on the north make the compass okay then okay so it will attract here so westerly deviation maximum westerly deviation attract here exactly in a line so nil deviation westerly deviation So sterly deviation. Westerly deviation. Here, no effect of DF. DF decrease. df maximum decrease df increase df not effect df increase df maximum increase df decrease so this is a deviation graph effect of directive force nil effect on north south heading easterly heading maximum decrease and westerly heading maximum increase 
ऑल ईस्टर्ली हेडिंग डिक्रीज एंड ऑल वेस्टर्ली हेडिंग इंक्रीज मीन डायरेक्टिव फोर्स इज अनफेक्टेड इफेक्ट ऑफ लैटिट्यूड द एबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपास इज पॉइंट नॉर्थ एंड साउथ आर टू बीन द मैग्नेटिक मेरेडियन डिपेंड ऑन द हॉरिजेंटल कंपोनेंट ऑफ द अर्थ द डेविएटिंग फोर्स ड्यू टू हीलिंग आर साइन आई वेर्स आई इज हीलिंग वेन द एच इज स्मॉल द आर साइन आई विल कॉज द मोर डेविएशन देन वेन एच इज लार्ज इन अदर वर्ड्स स्मॉलर द एच ग्रेटर द हीलिंग एरर सो परमानेंट हीलिंग एरर इज डायरेक्टली इनवर्सली प्रपोर्शनल टू वन अपॉन एच करेक्शन ऑफ हीलिंग एरर इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू यूज लाइक क्योर लाइक प्रिंसिपल इन करेक्टिंग हीलिंग एरर because for doing so permanent magnet and soft iron correct have to be placed very close to each other vertically above or below the compass leading to strong interaction with each other making the correct an unmanageable both effect are therefore corrected by using permanent magnet placed below the compass card correction is achieved by keeping a permanent magnet in the heading error bucket which has a counter weight and pulley arrangement This bucket can be raised and lowered as required. This error will be hold good only for the latitude in which is corrected and will repair when latitude changes. As per the theoretical correction method, the ship head north using the gyro compass is made to heel. If the card deviate it indicate presence of healing error. This is correct using the magnet in the healing error bucket. However, partially it is time consuming, so we assess and correct the heel error with the ship upright. so so this is a correct character this is a chain pulling arrangement this counter the weight okay so this is a permanent healing error correction so hope you understand this permanent healing and the coefficient a b c d e so best of luck for exams thanks for watching